for another fine episode of That's Not Coffee. We sure are. I don't know if I could ever be ready. <laughs> well, this one, I can't say the name without laughing. Let's do it if you'd like to. Coffee. <laughs> Roasted fig beverage. It's naturally delicious. Amazing yep. coffee alternative. Make 65 cups? Really? 65 cups. Coffig is... It's uh, non-GMO. It's a coffee substitute made out of only roasted figs. Correction, 100% yeah. black mission figs. Black mission figs. And actually, like, on the back, it doesn't say ingredients. It says ingredient, because there is only one, and it is roasted figs. I'm, like, legitimately excited about this one. This will be Naturally cool. alkaline. I said this is going to be good. But also, it's like a combination of, like, my worlds of having fruit videos and coffee videos are colliding. We've come across <laughs> different reasons for people to take these uh, coffee substitutes, like, either out of necessity, because it's expensive, or they can't have the caffeine. This one, I'm pretty sure, is created by people who can't have coffee for religious reasons. Because when they sent this to me in the mail, they also sent a little, like, brochure telling me to believe in Jesus. So, like, Mormons? I don't think it's Mormon. I think it might be Seventh-day Adventists? Do they not drink coffee? I don't know. They invented all breakfast cereals. Well, That's true. I mean, coffee goes pretty well with breakfast. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. It says to put a half teaspoon per each cup. So we're going to do three cups. It says to do a little extra if you want it strong, so I'm going to kind of just do like a generous half. Yeah. Oh, it smells good. I really like the smell. It smells like... It smells like Fig Newtons. It does. What's fun is that there's like little... Little fig seeds floating in the top. And there's also a cat. <laughs> it looks more like coffee and less like tea. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, better than a lot of them. Cheers, guys. Smells really good. Careful top. Yeah, it smells a little bit like... Um, like a smoky prune juice or something. Mm, I really like how it smells, but it's not quite strong enough. Yeah, it tastes like tea, like tastes, a fruit tea. Tastes like, like a something that has like a little hibiscus in it. Mm-hmm. It's got like a little bit of like a tartness to it mm -hmm. that coffee wouldn't have. But it's got like a little bit of a bitter taste that coffee would have. It's sweet. If I was somebody who put sugar in coffee, and I'm not. I would put less sugar in this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is sweet. You know, I don't really drink uh, black coffee, and like this, I'm not having a hard time getting through. Like, I think I could actually just like sit down and drink this. Yeah, this is definitely a lot more pleasant than the other coffee substitutes, although it is not yeah. similar to coffee in almost any way, except mm -hmm. that we made it in the French press. And it's right. color, basically. It looks like coffee. Yeah. You could pass it <laughs> off for coffee in a movie. <laughs> Only in a movie. I don't know why you would. But it does. <laughs> Everyone drinks so much coffee when you're making a movie. Well, you well, make sixty-five cups. Your actors too That's much. true. It makes sixty-five cups, and they would and get over. It's cheap. Yeah, it's cheap. It makes a lot. That's true. You know what it does have that tea doesn't have, and I think you pointed out in an earlier video is that it it is it does have like a robustness to it. But you think it doesn't taste like watery. It tastes. It does have kind of like that kind of like. Full like, taste. A lady. We have more cats. This is a donut. <laughs> we 
What do you think of the scent, Donut? Boyfriend? I think they like it. Yeah. <laughs> they they're don't not, hate it. They don't hate it. They're not, they're not hissing at it. Um, so you want to try it with some milk and sugar? Alright, let's do it. Yeah. Wow. It, I, it would have fooled me. Like this. Man, your point about in a movie is uh, pretty good, actually. <laughs> it's like you didn't want to actually use coffee for some reason. This would do it. Careful, because it's already a little sweet. Well, That's true. we'll see. That's fine. Okay, we've been milked and sugared. That's uh, that sounded really bad. Let's uh, let's try it. That is a pleasant beverage. That's well, pretty good, actually. Yeah, it doesn't taste like coffee. No, it tastes Not like a close, creamy but... fruit pudding or something. Mm -hmm. It sure looks like coffee, though. It's like dark and roasty the way and coffee the milk is. Distributes in the right color and mm -hmm. like makes the little swirlies. Yep, but doesn't smell like coffee. Doesn't taste doesn't like taste coffee. Doesn't taste like coffee. Tastes like roasted figs. <laughs> Which is a very nice. I wouldn't drink yeah. it if I wanted coffee, but I would drink it if I wanted this. Yeah. Which is not inconceivable. If you can't have coffee and you want like a warm beverage that is kind of like bold the way coffee mm -hmm. is, this would do it. It's called coffee, and that's the wrong name for this because it's <laughs> not like coffee. What would you call it if not coffee? Fig fig. Fig fig. <laughs> <laughs> so cough fig this is not, but fig fig, it's got it down. <laughs> fig fig. <laughs> so cough fig people, if you're watching this, I know you are, uh, <laughs> consider changing the name to fig fig, and I think you're really just going to have so much better. <laughs> Your marketing is just going to skyrocket. S sales to the roof. <laughs> yeah. For fig fig. But, uh, Good product! Like, if you miss coffee and you, you just want some, or you don't like coffee, but you want to kind of drink coffee with people and feel cool, this will kind of do that. It looks like coffee. You were saying this came with some Christian literature, right? Yes. Okay, so what if the point of this is actually you're a Mormon or something, and you want to look cool to your coffee drinking friends mm. and blend in that would be an occasion where this looking a lot like coffee would make your life a lot easier uh-huh that could be like their tagline like coffee fool your friends you're drinking coffee <laughs> so on a scale of one to five where five coffee beans is coffee and one coffee bean is not coffee how much like coffee is this one. Okay, you yeah. say one. One. It's it's not really like coffee. I as much as it looks like it's not like coffee. I'll give it a two, just because I think it does have like that robustness that coffee has. If you told me this was black tea with fruit, I'd be like, but some weird black tea. Yeah. But I'd be like, yeah, it would, maybe it's the fruit. It would pass for a black tea with fruit. Yeah. Say. It's like, not quite tea, not quite coffee, but as its own beverage, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's nice. So, check it out. Hey guys, I want to give a huge shout out to Destin from the channel Smarter Every Day. Now, Smarter Every Day is a pretty popular YouTube channel. If you haven't checked it out, uh, it's about this guy. He travels around in the pursuit of science. So, you know, if you like what I do with fruit, he's kind of doing it with everything else. So, uh, you know, check out his channel if you haven't seen it already. It's really, really cool. I'm already hooked on it. Uh, he contributed to my Patreon page in order to help me out a little bit uh, for the next few months. So if you um, want to help out too and make my series grow even bigger, just click on this screen or go to the description below and click on the links to go to my Patreon page where you can find out more. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.